Sebastian is just like, you know, a beast. He's, um, he's small, but he's mighty. Um, he, he's the happiest kid. Like you would never think everything that he's been through. And that's how you also know that it's like, we're about to get out of the hospital is because he has got a smile plastered on his face. Like just like as soon as he wakes up, you're like, oh, or we're leaving soon. Leela's our firstborn. She's hilarious. She's just a, she's a carbon copy of her dad. <laughs> Alaric, we call him the middle child because he was born a minute before Sebastian. He's dramatic and he's funny. He looks relatively like a he looks like a normal kid on the smaller side. Like you know, most, some most he's got little quirks that like younger. if you know him, if you know that 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 he's been struggling, like you can be like okay, but. But yeah, like, you wouldn't know. Hi, I'm Sebastian. I'm Sebastian. How old are you? How old are you, Sebastian? Three? Oh, you're three, my goodness. <laughs> Not two, you're three. At Go Shout Love, we do amazing things for amazing families with kids on rare medical journeys. Each month, we shout love for families through the sale of creative apparel inspired by the kids. This month's Every Breath, a Gift design is inspired by Sebastian, a strong and stubborn, sand-loving three-year-old from Houston, Texas, whose constant respiratory struggles gives us a fresh perspective on the power of each breath. Every purchase in July will go toward the purchase of a portable oxygen concentrator and private swim lessons for Sebastian. Visit our website at goshout.love to support Sebastian through the purchase of a t-shirt, hat, tank top, hoodie, or other items. All I remember is like they said they wanted to check on him because he wasn't crying very much, he wasn't very loud. And, um, and then I just like remember the picture of me in the hospital bed and like, they were like, do you want to say bye? Cause they had him in that like travel incubator. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, um, and I was just out of it. Like my blood pressure was like super low. That was before I got the transfusion and I was just in and out of consciousness. That's um, a lot for you to take in. Yeah. So he was basically, I, like, I was in another world just mentally. It was just like. Crazy. Like plus, where, and where do you go as a dad? Like you kind of have your two worlds are separating right yeah. now. Yeah, because he did have to get transferred over. And then it was like, I was back in the back with them. And they said like, basically like, dad, you want to come back over here? And they started explaining some things that were just kind of iffy with him and, and had to keep watching him. And then trying to explain that to her as well, it was kind of, running back and forth and then saying, now we got to go. And here he is like wheeling past. Mm -hmm. and then, yeah. yeah. And we have so many pictures of Alaric in the hospital room with us. And then like, we at least we got the one photo of the twins and you had forgotten your phone. So one of the nurses was nice enough it to was take a photo like a of, yeah. <laughs> was like, I mean, this was already stressful to begin with. Well, you, you know why? It's and... because you didn't join the smartphone era when you should have. Yeah, oh yeah, I should have been. <laughs> A trailblazer with the you know. 